Hey everyone, it's Sean, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered what would happen if two superpowers, the US and China, raced to dominate the world of artificial intelligence? Imagine a high-stakes game of chess, where each move is calculated, strategic, and could potentially change the course of the game. In 2023, a new player entered the game that significantly changed the dynamics. This player was a chatbot named ChatGPT, a brainchild of the US-based OpenAI. It quickly caught the attention of the global tech community, but most notably, it caught the eyes of Chinese social media. Why you ask? Because China had set an ambitious goal to become the global leader in AI by 2030. China's approach to achieving this goal is unique. Rather than focusing solely on research and development, they're implementing AI across various sectors, including education, security, and service industries. It's a practical, hands-on approach that is as much about application as it is about innovation. However, the rise of ChatGPT highlighted a gap in China's AI prowess. Chinese chatbot models were seen as lagging behind their Western counterparts. This has led to a flurry of questions. Do Chinese tech startups prioritize fast applications over lengthy research and development? Or is it the complexities of the Chinese language that pose a challenge? Or could it be the political sensitivities and censorship in the Chinese online environment that are holding them back? Whatever the reasons may be, the emergence of ChatGPT has brought the AI race between the US and China to the forefront. It's a race where the finish line is the same, but the paths taken are vastly different. So we have two superpowers, each with a unique approach to AI, racing towards the same goal. But who's leading? As we delve deeper into this fascinating race, remember, it's not just about reaching the finish line, but also about the journey and the strategies employed. The AI supremacy race has just begun, and the stakes couldn't be higher. While both nations aim for AI dominance, they're traveling on entirely different tracks. Let's explore why. The race for AI supremacy between the US and China is not just about who crosses the finish line first. It's about the journey, the path chosen, and the strategies employed. You see, while both nations share the same destination, their tracks are as different as night and day. On one side, we have Chinese tech startups. They're like sprinters, prioritizing fast applications over lengthy research and development. They're nimble, quick, and always on the lookout for immediate gains. It's a strategy that served them well in various sectors, from education to security and service industries. However, this approach has its limitations. For one, it's led to their chatbot models lagging behind their Western counterparts. A prominent example is the rise of the chatbot ChatGPT, developed by US-based OpenAI, which has caught the attention of Chinese social media for its sophistication. On the other side we have the West, and its approach is more like a marathon runner. There's a strong emphasis on lengthy research and development, with a focus on AI applications that promote individualism, personal autonomy, and decentralization. This strategy has its own benefits, with the emergence of ChatGPT as a prime example. But the Chinese language itself presents a unique set of challenges for AI in China. With its complexities and nuances, developing a chatbot that can navigate the intricate labyrinth of the Chinese language is no easy feat. Add to that the political sensitivities and censorship in the Chinese online environment and you've got a very complex puzzle to solve. The Chinese authorities' proposed rules for generative AI add another layer of complexity. These rules mandate that AI-generated content align with socialist values and not undermine state authority. This means Chinese tech companies must navigate these state restrictions while competing with Western AI advancements. So, while the US boasts of its sophisticated chatbot, China faces a different set of challenges, but it's not backing down. With AI transforming every layer of Chinese society, what does the AI landscape look like there? Let's delve into the intricacies of China's AI landscape, Artificial intelligence isn't just a new tech trend in China, it's a national obsession. It's fueling the digital economy, powering everything from social media to e-commerce platforms. It's even giving rise to deepfake influencers, merging the line between man and machine. Picture a society where AI is not just a tool, but a way of life. Social media platforms are no longer just about connecting people. They're about understanding people. They're learning from every interaction, every click, every post, to curate a digital experience that's as unique as the individual. AI-powered e-commerce platforms are revolutionizing shopping, using machine learning to predict what you want before you even know you want it. It's like having a personal shopper who knows your taste better than you do. 
and then there's the rise of deep fake influencers. These AI-generated personalities are becoming online celebrities, with their own fan base, their own style, their own voice. They're not just mimicking humans, they're creating a new form of digital expression. But this AI revolution isn't without its challenges. The balance between economic growth and political stability is a delicate one. With the government maintaining a tight rein over digital developments, Chinese tech companies must navigate a complex landscape of regulations and restrictions. AI in China is also a reflection of its culture and values. It's not just about creating the most advanced tech, it's about creating tech that aligns with the country's socialist values. It's about AI that doesn't undermine state authority but instead, strengthens it. It's about AI that's tailored to the unique complexities of the Chinese language and the sensitivities of the Chinese online environment. As we can see, China's AI landscape is a complex blend of technology, politics and culture. On the other side of the globe, how is the US shaping its AI landscape? Let's zoom in on the West's approach, specifically the US, where the focus on AI applications veers towards promoting individualism, personal autonomy, and decentralization. Picture this. While China is integrating AI into the societal fabric, the US is encouraging AI to empower individuals. It's all about creating AI tools that can be personalized, that can adapt to you, and that can help you express yourself in ways you never thought possible. It's about creating a future where AI is not just a tool, but a partner, an ally, an extension of oneself. Take the rise of the chatbot ChatGPT, developed by US-based OpenAI as an example. This chatbot isn't just a piece of technology, it represents a whole new way of thinking about AI. It's not just about automating tasks or crunching numbers. It's about creating a digital entity that can understand, communicate, and interact like a human. The idea is to make technology more human and less machine, to make it an integral part of our lives, not just a tool we use. This approach to AI is distinctly American. It's about freedom, about individuality, about giving people the power to shape their own lives. It's about decentralizing power, not centralizing it. It's about creating a landscape where innovation thrives, where new ideas are welcomed, and where everyone has a chance to make a difference. But this path isn't without its challenges. Balancing the need for innovation with the need for privacy and security is no easy task. Striking a balance between the freedom to innovate and the need to regulate is a tightrope walk, but it's a walk the US is willing to take because the potential benefits are too great to ignore. The West's approach to AI, as exemplified by the US, offers a stark contrast to China's. But the race is far from over. As we move forward it's not just about who reaches the finish line first but also about the paths we choose to get there, the values we uphold, and the future we envision. In this race for AI supremacy, is there a need to move beyond competitive thinking and geopolitical implications? This question is more relevant today than ever before. As we've seen, the United States and China are traversing distinct paths in the AI race. Both have their unique approaches, and each strategy comes with its own set of advantages and drawbacks. The US, with its emphasis on individualism, personal autonomy and decentralization, has fostered a creative and competitive environment where innovation thrives. On the flip side, the lack of overarching regulation can sometimes lead to ethical quandaries and inconsistencies. China, meanwhile, places a premium on a delicate balance between economic growth and political stability. With tight government control over digital developments, China ensures that AI serves its national interests. However, this approach may limit the scope of AI applications, particularly due to the political sensitivities and censorship in the Chinese online environment. Does this mean one approach is superior to the other? Not necessarily. Each path is shaped by the unique cultural, political and economic context of the two nations, and each approach can learn from the other. The US can take a leaf out of China's book to understand the benefits of strategic AI implementation in various sectors, such as education, security, and service industries. Similarly, China can learn from the US's emphasis on promoting individualism and autonomy in AI applications. In the grand scheme of things, the race for AI supremacy is not just about who crosses the finish line first, it's about how AI can be harnessed to improve the quality of life for all irrespective of national boundaries. This is why it's crucial to move beyond competitive thinking. Instead of viewing each other as rivals, the US and China can view each other as partners in the global AI journey. They can share knowledge, learn from each other's successes and failures, 
and work together to address common challenges such as ethical considerations and the impact of AI on jobs. Perhaps in this race for AI supremacy, collaboration might be a better way forward than competition. So, in the race for AI supremacy, where does this leave us? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on today. We've delved into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, its development, and the two global powers vying for supremacy in this arena, the United States and China. We've seen how these two nations, despite aiming for the same goal, have chosen distinctly different routes. China, with its focus on rapid application and implementation across sectors, is creating a unique AI landscape. It's building a digital economy driven by AI-powered social media, e-commerce platforms, and even deepfake influencers. Yet it's also navigating a complex maze of state restrictions and political sensitivities. On the other hand, we have the United States where the emergence of AI models like ChatGPT has set the stage. The U.S. strategy emphasizes AI applications promoting individualism, personal autonomy, and decentralization. It's a landscape where innovation thrives, often in the absence of stringent restrictions. As we've seen, the race isn't just about who crosses the finish line first, it's also about the journey, the strategies employed, and the societal impacts. The rise of AI is impacting all layers of society, from how we interact on social media to how businesses operate and governments function. Moreover, the emergence of ChatGPT has not only highlighted the different paths taken by the US and China, but also underscored the need to move beyond competitive thinking. It's not just a race, it's a global endeavor that will shape the future of our world. Yet the question remains, in this race for AI supremacy, who will reach the finish line first? Is it the nation that values speed and widespread application or the one that encourages individualism and innovation? The AI race is on and the world watches as the US and China forge their paths. Who will reach the finish line first? Only time will tell. What are your thoughts on this? Drop them in the comments below and let's get a conversation going. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the AI race, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, I'm Sean signing off.